Hello everyone, this is uh, iOS Genius on YouTube channel. Today we're going to go ahead through the uh, Apple iPhone configurator. There's an iPhone configurator and there's an Apple configurator. Uh, this is basically how you can find a way how to encrypt and create a mobile config file uh, that can go through Apple devices or even actually on your Mac um, that you cannot find the uh, uh, the password uh, that's saved to your keychain. So then for an example, uh, we're going to go to, actually first, let's do this, go to Safari. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me get out of this. So you go to Safari uh, or whatever browser you want to use. Uh, if you visit over to youtube.com, if you do a search for my channel, which is Apple iOS Genius, if I can spell properly. Uh, you can go here where it says here by iOS Genius. If you select that channel, this is basically the channel where all my videos and so forth, recent updates, uh, also other videos that I've created, which are here. There only shows a few of them, but you can keep loading more. And then there's more, there's more in regards of anything related to Apple or how to videos and so forth. So let's get started. So, what basically we're going to do is going to go ahead to um, Fine. We're going to go to our keychain. Right now, I'm currently connected to uh, my home home Wi-Fi, which is here, Chop Wood. Uh, it's for our clan name in Call of Duty, and it's also under Ghost. Okay, so we want to know what this password is. So basically, what we'll do definitely is go ahead through our logins, and keychain normally saves all your passwords. And uh, so what you want to do, if you're going to do this for school or or even your house and so forth, and you do not want to have other people to know your password, even though they can just go to the uh, keychain and pull it up that way. So here's the keychain here. Uh, as long as they have administrative access, it doesn't matter which account, but administrative access on the computer, uh, they can go ahead and open this up. Here is the ghost, Chopwood Coast, which is my SSID, which is here as well. Uh, but if you don't know what the password is, you'd basically go to we're here where it says show password. If you know the admin access of the computer, you'll be able to pull up this information. If you do not, you will not be able to view this information. So I pulled it up, and this is basically the password for my SSID. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make this disappear uh, so it's not gonna be available. So what I'm gonna actually have to do is I'm gonna remove it from my uh, keychain access uh, so that I am not connected to any internet. And then I'm gonna show you how to create a profile in making this uh, not actually work. It will not be up here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and here, here cancel this. Uh, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna go to my SSID right now, which is open network preferences. Once you open network preferences, you wanna go down here to advance. Here's my preferred network, so ghost. So you wanna go ahead and select that, select minus. Okay, so it's not there. So we're gonna hit save apply. Uh, now I should not be connected to any Wi-Fi. Well, actually, it's still connected um, because it's just a second. What we need to actually, what I need to do is turn Wi-Fi off. Make sure it is not connected. There's no SSID here for my uh, Wi-Fi wireless in the house. So we're going to close this. As you can see earlier here today, I did have the I have visit iOS Genius, which is uh, my other SSID for somewhere else. Uh, but basically, I do not have the chop wood uh, ghost here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close this. This is basically a quick video. I've already created the mobile config file. In a separate video, I will show you how to create the mobile config file. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. <coughs> it's going to go ahead and ask to go ahead and install. So you install chop wood Wi-Fi. Uh, this is my chop wood uh, ghost, uh, but this is encrypted. So this profile will configure your Mac following the Wi-Fi network. I'm going to go ahead and select continue. And then it says you sure you want to install. And then it basically states you that the authorship of the profile cannot be verified. Uh, even though it's created by Apple, you can technically go to show details and see who's uh, created it actually. And then here it says Apple configurator but the identity cannot be verified. So that's fine. So we're gonna go ahead and install again. Uh, now it's gone ahead and installed the profile. So now this profile 
is actually in my system preferences. Here it is. Uh, it's under pro profile. So you hit this and these are the Wi-Fi's. So basically, uh, oh, actually this one's for s my school. So, or yeah, we can leave that one there. But here's the chop wood Wi-Fi and this is the SSID here, chop wood uh, ghost. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and close this window. We're gonna go ahead and open this, turn the Wi-Fi on. In a moment, it will go ahead and connect to it. There it is. As you can see, there's all full bars connected. So I'm just gonna go here. Uh, just to re-verify, I am not connected through Ethernet. So we're gonna go to the net network, right? As soon as this pops up, we're gonna go to network. You're gonna see the only thing I am connected is Wi-Fi uh, is connected, Ethernet is not, none of these other ones are not as well, or my VPN down to the bottom. So then here we have Google Chrome running. We're just gonna go ahead to a few websites so you can see that I am connected to the internet. So there's ESPN. And then we're just gonna go to yahoo.com. Uh, these are the two sites I actually don't ever visit. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and close this. So now you would wanna see, hey, you know what? This person is connected to Chopwood Ghost. I would wanna see uh, what this person's password is. So basically you can go to the advance. You can see the Chopwood uh, Ghost is listed right there. But here, of course, you can't check the password. So now if you wanted to go check the password, of course, everyone thinks about, hey, let me go to my keychain access. So let me clear that out. Type this again, just in case it needs to be refreshed. Open this up. And right here, you're gonna see all these login, save passwords, but you are not gonna see the Chopwood Ghost as you saw earlier. And the reason is, is because this login profile that you create, it actually encrypts the password. So it does not save it to your uh, keychain access. It actually just saves it to the system of system preferences under profiles. Now, if you're in here and you say, oh, well, I wanted to know what the password is, this will not actually show you the password. As you can see, it's just the settings, the Wi-Fi network, the encryption is WPA and WPA2, but it doesn't actually show you the password. So that's a good way to do it. So even though it says unverified, it is actually installed, it's running, it just says unverified because it says it supposedly should have a certificate from Apple stating that this is an Apple licensing uh, profile, but uh, it's used through Apple Configurator, but it's not used technically as a licensing program. Um, well, anyways, that's pretty much how I'm showing you how you can, uh, how it does not show. Now, for an example, as you can see, it's there connected. So let me turn off the Wi-Fi and I'm gonna go back we're gonna revert back. We're gonna go ahead profiles. Now this is a profile. Uh, I have it set up as that you can actually remove the profile without a password. You can actually set it up with a, with a, um, a, a removal password. So in case you don't want other people to remove it. Um, but basically if I go ahead and close this window, so that profile is not in here. It's not in here either. So we're gonna go ahead and close this. We're gonna go back to turning on my Wi-Fi. That SSID is not in there. So if you go to the open network preferences, since I removed the profile, here's Wi-Fi, hit advance, and you won't see it in here. Okay, so that, that's what it's supposed to do. So the profile uh, puts it in place in the network and then it removes it when the person actually removes the profile. Now here's the interesting thing. So I'm not connected to the Chopwood Ghost. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for it select on it it's going to prompt me in a moment if any uh oops there it goes uh, actually it goes through because it probably remembers of the profile action so what we're going to do is we're going to open oops we're already here we're opening here is the chop wood it's a wpa2 personal so we're going to cancel that we're going to go over to your keychain access once we go in here and yeah, look at that, it's not there either. That's intriguing. Oh, because you know what? It's not there because I didn't technically manually enter in the uh, information. So let's close this out. Let's go back to advance. Let's remove it from here, hit okay. 
that apply. We're gonna go here. It still shows that it's connected, but it's not. So it just remembers. It probably has it listed under the cache information. So let's go to advance. It's not there. So we're gonna hit that. We're gonna go to here's Wi-Fi. Oh, you know what it is? I bet I know why. Let's see. Chalkboard Ghost. There it is. So now is now it's prompting me because the cache password has already been released, uh, and I have removed it from the SSID under Network Preferences. So now it's asking me for the password. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the password because you saw it earlier. Just to verify, it's the same thing. So W A U K E G A N star one four two one star is my password. So you want to go ahead and hit join. What's going to happen? This one is going to close. It's going to accept it. It's going to go ahead and connect online. And just to make sure that I'm online, there's Google. You know, let's try, I don't know, uh, here, let's try Apple. Okay, there's Apple pulls up. So what you want to do now, if you go to your keychain, keychain, and then there it is. You see where it says chop wood ghost? There it's because I manually entered it in. If I use the profile, it will not pull this information at all. It will not even show that uh, it's in the keychain because the keychain protects it. So now if I go ahead and open this up, Chopwood Ghost is my SSID. It's under an airport. I'm going to show the password. Since I have admin rights to my computer, we're going to go ahead and enter my admin password. Hit OK. And there's the password that I manually typed. So if you manually type passwords, if you either select the option to save and remember it or don't save and remember it, uh, it actually still saves it to your keychain. And basically, it, that's the problem. So if you're at a school or at your home or so forth and you don't want to hand out your password, you can basically create a um, profile, a Wi-Fi profile or a VPN profile, uh, and have a security key on it already so that they will not see what your password is. So if you're in a school or a business or a company institution, uh, this is very useful and helpful because you wouldn't want someone to find out what the password is and just pass it around to any other students or other faculty or anyone else in the, in the building. So basically this is my video on how, basically how to use these system profiles that I've created with Apple Configurator and iPhone Configurator. Uh, this also applies to as well if you had um, if you use your Apple devices and the iCloud services and you had them all synced with Keychain, uh, it still will not show the password. So if you use a profile, uh, it will not sync over to your iPhone or iPad or any other Apple devices. You would actually have to manually type it in, the password of the, your SSID, and then it will sync that information over. Um, so if you have any other questions or do for this uh, video, feel free to post them to the bottom. Subscribe to Apple iOS Genius. And I will post another video shortly in regards of how to create the mobile config file so it can be encrypted and uh, no one can figure out what your password is. Okay, thanks. And it is Wednesday, 622 and 24.